When, I, when I'm fishing a, a lot of these lakes now with a lot of pressure on them and, and you know, on the tour and, and in major league fishing, you know, I, li I like a creature style bait and I, I really like to flip them. I've caught lots of fish on them, but what a lot of times what I do is I go to a, I go to a, I go to a worm instead of that creature style bait. I like, uh, you know, your straight stick worms. I flip the, flip and pitch those around an awful lot, make a lot of money on those. And just the old school worm like this right here, uh, you know, the ribbon tail. Um, and, and when I pick weight sizes, a lot of times, uh, when I go to this bait, generally, it's, it's more of a finesse bait. So I, a lot of times I'll go even to like an eighth ounce weight. Um, Today it's really windy, so I'm throwing a 3 16 But if, if you'll go behind a lot of those guys uh, that are fishing that, you know, uh, uh, the beaver style baits or the creature baits, you'll pick up a lot of fish behind them. It, because what, what, the, what the worm enables me to do more so is I'm gonna make a lot more pitches, you know. Uh, I'm gonna pitch, you know, through the cattails or, or through my target and and, and bring it the whole way through rather than just at the bases. And it's just, it's a different look, man. I'm telling you, you'd be, a, there's not that many people that just flip an old school worm anymore. And the fish still eat them. Um, it, they, they didn't quit eating a worm. They never will. So my, my tip to anybody out there would be, especially if you, you're fishing your jackpots and things like that, you know, don't be afraid to go old school with a worm. And, and this is what I got going on. I mean, it's, it's really, it's really uh, simple. This is just a six inch, this is a big bite cree tail worm. Uh, I'm throwing a tungsten weight. That's an Eco Pro tungsten 3 16 And then I'm using a four aught offset. And that's a TK100 four aught trocar hook. I think it's absolutely the best hook to throw in a worm. Uh, I like the offset. I don't like an EWG, the big wide gap in, in, in you know, I'm just Texas rigging it. I don't peg my weight most of the time. I, I think you get more bites without it. That's because, you know, as I'm pulling it through the cover and things like that, you know, when I pop it through, you know, that weight will fall. And then a lot of times you'll get that worm to fall separately. You know, if I was flipping really heavy cover and things like that with a creature bait, yeah, I'm going to peg it. But when I'm casting a worm and things like that around, I don't peg it. So, you know, th these two right here, you know, a little bit windier today. You know, sometimes I feel like the fish want a little action. That's that's when that's when I'll go to the, you know, the more ribbon uh, style tail. If it's real calm and real clear, then most of the time I'm just going to flip something like that big bite trick stick. That's one of my favorite colors there. And you can see that's an eighth ounce weight. Uh, last week at the Potomac River, pretty much everything I caught in the pads, I was flipping pads around a lot of people. I mean, there was a lot of guys in there. And I think I caught more than any of them in, in there. And I was flipping an eighth ounce weight. I was throwing 15 pound fluorocarbon, which was a little sketchy, but I felt like I got more bites. You know, when you go to a light weight, you really can't use 20 pound test line. Now, the other thing I do a lot in, in lily pads and things like that, I'll go to a 30 pound braided line, you know, a small braid with the light weight. But once again, I'm rigging it the same way with an offset uh, uh, trocar four out hook. Now, as far as colors go, you know, on a worm and things like that, I, I always, you know, that, that's tilapia, green pumpkin, whatever you call it, that's, that's a great one. The other is just like a straight plum or a blue fleck is really good. And then uh, on this style worm, you know, that's a green pumpkin, you know, but I'll be honest with you, probably what I caught them all on at the Potomac River on, and probably my favorite is, is, is straight black. Um, I, I don't... It's pretty universal. All the lakes in Florida, at the Potomac River, I caught them all on black. Um, you know, here I, I throw black. I think probably for me, if I could only have, you know, one color for the, for the whole season, it'd be a toss, a toss up between green pumpkin and just straight black. Not black and blue, not black and whatever. I mean, just straight black. And uh, they don't see it that much. And it, they, they eat it. So anytime that water's dark, I love a black, but, but go old school on them, man. Don't just flip that big old creature bait all the time. I promise you, downsize your weight and pitch through your cover instead of straight into it, and you're going to get a lot of bites. And uh, just go old school. Worms, man. This year on the tour, I think 
90% of my money has been on worms. 